What's up guys, Devadog Gamer here, and today we're gonna play What's in the Case, and the Bag, and the Other Bag. That's right, we're gonna have a little fun today, as I can finally show some stuff off, and uh, I wanted to do it on the main channel, instead of the vlog channel, just because, well, fuck it, you know, not everybody watches the vlog channel, we haven't posted the vlog channel in a while, and this is kind of a big, a big milestone, we've waited almost a year a little over a year on one of them to show all these things off, so we're going to get to it. Okay, first of all, we are going to open up this bad boy. What is in the case? What is in the case? I have random things here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Daniel Defense Mark 18. That is right. The same weapon used by JSOC, but I have the civilian variant. <laughs> so, a little bit about this thing. Uh, this is a short barrel rifle. Uh, I put in paperwork for it last March, and I just got approved this week, and I could pick it up. Um, this is a 10.3 inch barrel, shoots 5.56. Five, uh, this is this pretty much the same model that JSOC has. Uh, minus the select fire. It's only semi-auto. It's, you know, it's not a machine gun. It's not a select fire. Um, I was going to put a Aimpoint T1 on it, but they didn't have any at the shop, and they had an H1 that they had gave me a hell of a deal on it with the room mount that I wanted, the high mount. So, you know, there's really no difference from an, from an H1 to a T1 minus the night vision compatibility, um, which I don't have night vision, so doesn't matter to me. So I got that on there. Um, so what's the plans of the future for this rifle? Well, there's a little bit of rust on that. It's, like I said, it's been sitting around for a while. Um, I'm getting rid of, rid of this shoddy ass stock. Fuck that stock. That is the nastiest looking thing ever. And I uh, might put a different time, kind of a uh, collapsible. I don't know what I want yet. We'll figure it out. And probably an angled foregrip here. And we're going to put an Omega uh, AC Omega suppressor on it so that's in the future but we're gonna wait on the suppressor for a little while but this thing uh, I've been waiting a long time for this well over a year now um, and finally we got it I'm so happy oh it's glorious and it came with a bunch of mags no one P mag and something else some trash so fuck all that and a, and a barrel block okay so we're gonna put this back now it's hard to stick in with the fucking... Oh, jeez. Well, you know what? Fuck it. <sighs> okay, on to the next. The bag. What's in the bag? What could be in this glorious, glorious bag? Maybe ammo? So, oh, what's this sticking out? What's... Oh, what, 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 what is this? What? What is this? Oh, yeah. That's right, boys. Mother fucking... MP5K clone. Um, this is my Zenith Z5K clone. Um, got my paperwork back on it probably about a month, a month or two ago. Finally put the stock on it with a nice little collapsible stock. I also have Picatinny sight uh, rail. Probably gonna put another T1 on there um, with a low mount. I'm not sure what low mount I want at this moment. Uh, it's nine nine millimeter. Same. You know, it's an SBR. It's got like a four inch barrel or something like that. Uh, with the front grip. Future for this? Fuck. Um, I'm thinking probably a, a three... Okay, that's interesting. Um, probably a three lug muzzle and then put a suppressor on it in the future. Um, I do have to put some, change some parts out to make it, I think it was a 922R compliant because an import, it is an import weapon. Um, I'm gonna do that at my freaking leisure, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this thing's awesome. I love MP5s. I've always wanted one. So when that uh, the new rules were coming out for the SBRs, I said, "Fuck it, let's do it." But this thing is a nice little beast. It's so tiny that I can literally stick it in the center console of my fucking truck, and I could carry it there if I wanted it to. But since it's an FA item, you really don't want to fuck around with it too much. If these things get stolen, holy shit balls! Prepare for anal rapage. The ATF is gonna be on your ass. But um, yeah, I got the, the Cho8, or however the fuck you say it, um, stock. This was actually a pain in the ass to get on, because these push pins are what, stick it in here, I don't know if you see these push pins. Well, 
it wasn't lined up just perfectly. Like it's just barely lined up. So I had to hammer these into the rubber mallet. It, you know, it's not perfect, but it works. I haven't I had no cycle issues or anything like that. So I can't complain about it whatsoever, but I love this little thing. You know, everyone was like, you know, get, get the SIG, get the SIG. I'm like, fuck that, I'm getting an MP5 clone. So that goes back in the bag. And then we're gonna grab the other bags over here. Come here, come here. Let's go. You can tell I've been hanging out with my dog a little much today. Okay, so what's in this bag? Let me unzip it all the way. Let me stick it down. Ugh. I need two hands for this. There we go. Okay, so what's in this bag? What could possibly be in here? <gasps> it's the scar. The scar. It's finally, finally done. So here we have my Scar 17 with a 13 inch barrel now. This thing is fucking boostly. Still got the EOTech on it. Um, yeah, this thing is crazy. Uh, I actually got to shoot it and the recoil now that this thing has a 13 inch barrel is insane. I mean, it is a complete difference from 13 inches to six, you know, from 16 to 13 inches. Um, future for this thing. We're just gonna get a magnifier for the EOTech and we're gonna do the same Omega that we're gonna put on the um, on the Mark 18. So we'll have one suppressor that can be shared between the two rifles. So that's the overall goal for the SCAR 17. Uh, but this thing, shoulder bruiser now. I'm gonna have to mess around with the gas system a little bit, get it a little toned down. Because the uh, recoil on it is pretty fucking insane. <laughs> it, it's almost equivalent to firing a car 98 on semi-auto. It's pretty fucking bad. So we're going to definitely tone or mess around with it a little bit. Uh, the recoil is so strong, the EOTech got knocked off of it. That's how crazy recoil this thing is. Uh, but this is now my battle rifle, and I fucking love it. This thing's amazing. Um, to anybody who wants to SBR a SCAR-17, I would highly, highly advise about looking into it beforehand. I didn't look into it too much, and I had to get the new 13-inch barrel and gas assembly for it. Well, right now, in, in current prices, with this is before you know all the prices are dropping, that barrel assembly itself with the gas system was $1,400. Was not fucking pretty at all. Um, that is that is pretty much an AR-15 just for a barrel. So this thing is not cheap to SBR, it is, and it definitely changes the way the rifle works. So uh, definitely look into it, because I didn't until I already had my paperwork filed, and then I had no fucking choice. Um, I was going to do it down to a 10 inch, but I read some horror stories about cutting the barrel, and the, the process with that, and the 10 inch. So I just kept it straight at 13 inch from the factory. Um, this is the barrel length that most of the JSOC uses for their battle rifles anyways. So I've seen them run a few 10 inches, but they, they mainly run the 13 inch now. So I didn't see a point to going into a 10 inch. You know, if the fucking seals in, in Marsoc aren't fucking rolling 10 inches, there's probably a reason for it. You know, if they went from 10 inch to 13 inch, there's a reason for it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, boys. So uh, this is the trifecta now. I uh, probably won't be buying any more guns for a very long time because um, <laughs> the weight on these was fucking stupid as fuck. But yeah, the scars now, my baby. Haven't shot the Mark 18 yet, but we're going to start doing some shooting videos and putting them on the vlog channel. Uh, but anyways, boys, you enjoyed the video. You got some comments, questions, concerns about the guns? Let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.